Wad 51. Accident at Rosedale Railroad Station. Man caught between train and platform. Paramedics John Gage and Roy DeSoto, together with the rest of the Rampart Emergency Squad, leap into action. 10-4 dispatch, Squad 51, ETA, 8 minutes. You drive, Roy. I'll take the desk. Right. Let's go. Racing through the city streets, Squad 51 arrives at Rosedale Railroad Station. Over here! He's over here! Please move back, folks. Come on, give us room. Uh, his leg is wedged between the train and the edge of the platform. Can you talk, fella? What's your name? Yeah. Yeah, I can talk. I'm Charlie Thomas. What happened, Charlie? I was running to catch the train, and my foot slipped off the edge of the platform. Oh, it hurts. Was the train moving? Yeah. But it stopped as soon as I started yelling. Well, the first thing to do is to uh, get you out of there. We've got a new gadget that's just right for the job. You mean the jaws of life, Johnny? Right. Break it out, Roy, and let's get going. A heavy power pack strapped to his back, DeSoto returned with a strange-looking tool. It looked like a cross between a huge pair of scissors and a giant pair of pliers. That thing ain't gonna hurt me getting me out, is it? I'm hurting bad enough as it is. Don't worry, Charlie. I'm padding the blades to bend the side of the railroad car. Then we can get you out with no trouble. A little more, Roy. Uh, he's still jammed in pretty tight. That does it. Take his vital signs, Roy, while I apply a tourniquet. Oh, am I going to lose my leg? Now, you're going to be fine, buddy. Just take it easy. I'll relay this data to Rampart on the biocom. Back at Rampart General Hospital, nurse Dixie McCall answers the biocom buzzer. Rampart emergency, this is squad 51. Squad 51, this is Rampart. Rampart, we have a victim, male, age 35, left leg caught between train and platform. 51, do you have vitals? 10-4. Vitals as follows. Pulse, 130. Respirations, 30. Blood pressure, 90 over 60. Tourniquet has been applied. Victim is in considerable pain. What are the extent of the injuries, 51? Major knee tendon is ruptured. Kneecap is displaced and evident damage to the soft tissues. At that point, Dr. Kelly Brackett, who had been standing behind Nurse Dixie McCall, takes over on the microphone. 51, start an IV with normal saline. Give him six milligrams of MS intravenously. Bring him in as soon as possible. 10-4, Rampart Emergency. After bringing in the injured Charlie Thomas, Roy, John, and the others eat a quick meal at the kitchen of Station 51. Well, what's on the fire? I could eat a horse. You probably will. Oh, you don't mean that? Yep. Lopez is cooking this week. Oh, no. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Squad 51's next call brought them to a factory. In a freak accident, a woman worker had been severely shocked by faulty wiring. She lay unconscious on the factory floor, a sputtering electric cable throwing off sparks nearby. Somebody, turn off the power. Yes, sir. Right away. John Gage knelt beside the fallen woman and examined her. She's still breathing, but only barely. Let's have the stethoscope. I'll take her blood pressure. Roy, she's fibrillating. Her heart's about to stop. I'll get the heart shock gear. Give me the paddles. Is she clear? Yes. Go. Again. Again. She's not responding. Call Rampart. I'm not giving up. At their listening post at Rampart Emergency, Nurse Dixie McCall and Dr. Kelly Brackett listen as Roy DeSoto speaks. Rampart, we've got an electroshock victim, female, 40 years old. She's fibrillating. We've countershocked three times with no conversion. We're starting CPR. What are the chances, Kelly? Not too good, Dixie. IV with D5W and push two amps by carb. 10-4, Rampart. IV with D5W and push two amps by carb. All we can do is hope for the best. Back at the accident site, Roy rejoins John Gage. It's working, Roy. The oscilloscope shows a heartbeat. She's gonna make it. Turning their patient over to an ambulance that had meanwhile arrived, Squad 51 hurried to their next call. An auto accident. A man trapped in an overturned car. There he is. Trapped inside. Car's on fire. Get the jaws of life. We've got to get him out before that gas tank blows. Right. Here I come. Ooh. Hurry. Please hurry. I can't get out. Move away from the door, buddy. Roy, break her open. Right. <sighs> That's 
it. Give me a hand with him. Back at Station 51, a tired crew of paramedics is coming in at the end of the day. Oh, 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 I'm tired. Oh, that last one was pretty rough. We got out of that burning car just in time. He was one lucky man, only a sprained ankle. Yeah, thanks to the jaws of life. I'm starving. Yes, yeah, so too. am I. Let's have dinner. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I forgot. Lopez is cooking tonight. I think I'd rather starve. Oh, <laughs> Okay, you turkeys. So it's not the best food in the world. So what? I don't see any of you volunteering to cook, do I? I don't think it's fair to Lopez to gripe like this. Oh, you're being very thoughtful, Roy. But uh, but tell me, what's in that paper bag? Could that be your dinner? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.